Kasi guys, kahit gaano kaganda yung place, kahit gaano kaganda yung composition natin, kahit gaano kaganda yung camera natin, if hindi nagmamatch yung... Hey guys, what's up? This is Jeff Aronimo and thank you for watching this video. And for today, I will teach you how you get this kind of photos. For your Instagram, since ang Valentine's is malapit na and malapit na rin tayong kumuha ng mga photos for our girlfriends or for our partners, right now, I will give you five tips or five useful tips for your photo gaming this Valentine's and syempre for your Instagram also. These tips will help you get those images na syempre hindi magagalit yung ating partner and matutuwa sila. So without further ado, let's start this video right away. So first tip is yung camera na gagamitin natin. It might be our phone or our mirrorless camera or even our point and shoot camera. Pwede pwede kang mamili ng gusto mong gamitin but I prefer to use my camera or my mirrorless camera when shooting my photos for my Instagram. So next is lenses. We will discuss two types. Meron tayong ginagamit na phone, di ba? Meron din tayong ginagamit na camera. So for our phone, you might want to use your portrait mode or meron ako nakikitang effect sa TikTok na ginagamit nila yung panorama to shoot a subject tapos ipakita yung landscape or ipakita yung environment na meron sila. You might want to try that one. Panorama and Vertorama. Pwede nyong gamitin yon. Or if you have the option to use a wide Lens for your phone camera, pwedeng pwede mo rin gamitin yon. And for our camera, if I will shoot portrait for my Instagram, I will use at least 50mm or a 35mm lens. But if you have 85mm, this RF 85mm f1.2, then better. Or if you have this uh, 70 to 200 for your Instagram Photos, yes, you can do this one also. This is great for portrait photography. As long as you have a faster aperture like f1.8 to f1.4, uh, pwede na yon. Pero if you have those lenses, if you have those equipment, better use it for your Instagram also. So for me, if I'm on a budget, I will only use a 50mm f1.8 and super good na nun para sa Instagram photos ko. So next is composition. If we want to shoot a better photo for our partner, shoot your partner like this kind of level, like chest level. Please don't use this kind of angle lang ng madalas kasi minsan hindi siya ganong ka-okay pagdating sa photo since yung camera natin naka-place dito. Or you might want to invert your phone if you're using your phone. And if you're using your camera, you might want to use a rule of thirds or you might want to put your subject in the center of your photo and show the landscape or show the creaminess of those bokeh photos. And that's it. If you're shooting for your partner, shoot photos as many as you can. Pwedeng, pe, meron kang chest level, meron kang high level, meron kang low level, meron kang iba't ibang creative shot like rule of thirds. If you're in that destination na you might want to maximize those opportunity na ishoot mo na ng maramihan yung partner mo para in the end, marami siya mapipiling photo. Unlike kapag konti lang yung mapipili niya tapos hindi niya pa gusto, Hindi naman disaster ending nun, di ba? <laughs> if you want to up your game a little bit, you might want to search for your pegs on the internet para kapag dating nyo dun sa place na pupuntahan nyo, alam mo na yung mga type of angle, type of composition, type of shots na gagawin mo sa photos na kukunan mo. Tip number four is... Madalas medyo na overlook or hindi na ko consider you might want to plan your outfit. Kasi syempre once na nagta-travel ka or once na may pinuntahan kayo ng girlfriend mo or ng partner mo, 
kailangan bagay yung outfit nyo for that certain place. Kasi mahirap maganda yung place tapos medyo out of color or hindi tama yung color ng suot natin or hindi appropriate yung suot natin for that kind of scenario, for that kind of environment. So, for our tip number four, you might want to plan your outfit first before you go to the place na pupuntahan nyo for this Valentine's Day. Kasi guys, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung place, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung composition natin, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung camera natin, if hindi nagmamatch yung suot natin or hit in or if hindi nagmamatch yung kulay ng kung ano man meron sa katawan natin like if the environment is green then ang suot mo ay sabihin na nating pink plan your outfit before you go to the place na pinagplanuhan nyo for our last tip for this video is lighting Yes, importante pa rin na hanapin natin yung tamang lighting for our photos. Hindi pwedeng maganda nga yung scene pero hindi mo naman na-consider yung light. Medyo madilim. You might want to change your position. You might want to go outside. You might want to find those light. Pwedeng kunwari kung indoor yan, medyo tumabi kayo sa window para maging mas maayos yung lighting. Kasi... Once na meron kang proper lighting, mas maganda yung photo na kakalabasan for your Instagram or for your partner. Kasi once na we're traveling, iba minsan wala naman tayong dalang flash or wala tayong dalang mga yung gusto nating lighting for our photo. So we must be resourceful in finding those great lightings for our photos. So for this video, we have bonus tips lang before we end this. First bonus tip is please have fun. Kasi if masyado kang nagiging frustrated dun sa pagkuha ng great photos, pagkuha ng mga pegs mo sa mga photos mo, medyo baka mawala ka sa mood or baka ma-frustrate ka hanggang sa hindi mo na makuha yung photo na gusto mo. Second bonus tip is communication. Kailangan meron pa rin kayong communication with the subject. Like kung paano tayo nakikipag-usap sa kliyente natin when we shoot photos for our wedding coverage or for our studio portraits, di ba? Kailangan kinakausap natin yung subject natin for us to know yung emotion niya ngayon, yung feelings niya ngayon, and yun yung maportray natin sa photo na kukuhanan natin. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na may mga natutunan ka and I hope na may makuha kang great photos for your next travel or for your next date. So that's it for today. Once again, I'm Jeff Aronimo and if you want to learn more about photography, videography, editing, and vlogging, please consider clicking the subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and share this video to your friends na alam mong lalabas din at magde-date sa February 14 or sa Valentine's Day. And if you want to support this channel and me creating more videos in the future, please click my buy me a coffee site in my description box below. Malaking tulong na po yun para sa channel na ito. And that's it for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. See you on my next one. Bye. Peace.